Last but not least, we have Glorilla, female American bully puppy. This puppy comes off of a legendary dog, a legendary dog in the area named Lugati. Lugati appears to be a man-made kennel production, but he's actually BGK bloodline. So, man-made kennels purchased the dog from BGK uh, and did this breeding. So, I actually have a dog blood from the biggest, baddest dog uh, breeder. The biggest, the, the original dog breeder of the biggest, baddest dogs, which is BGK. BGK is known for breeding 140 100 to 170 pound dogs. BGK is the original person that made the XL American Bully famous. After BGK made uh, XL Bullies famous, then the next person that made the dogs famous was DDK9. And we actually have DDK9 blood in our house. We have two dogs with DDK9 blood in our house. Uh, so that's why I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'll breed this dog with some DDK9 blood. But once again, all the people who brought, purchased dogs for me, you know, if you're not posting my stuff, if you're not trying to help me get ahead, then I won't breed with you. It's nothing personal. It's just, it's not always about money. It's all, it's about progress. So if you're not helping me progress, then why should I breed with you? A lot of people just breed with dogs because of the name of the dog and the fame of the dog. So this dog, apparently, uh, Lugati comes from State Line Bulls. So I think State Line Bulls did a breeding with man-made kennels or something like that. I haven't really gotten down to the nitty gritty of it all, but I also kind of searched and found that this dog has, I believe now, and I don't know 100%, but I'm thinking it has some notorious Notorious B.I. Notorious Blood, which is Bully Blue Giant, which is also the same blood as the last dog I just showed you, Athena. Um, and of course, we also have another dog that is basically Bully Blue Giants because it's a dog named Terroristic Threat, which is deep, uh, Bishop over there. Bishop has threat blood. You know, he, he has threat blood in him. Zoom in, zoom in on me so you can see the face. He's got a big head. He's also a terroristic threat. So we got a lot of different things going on over here as far as legends. Terroristic threat is a big legend. You guys might not know him. But he's created a lot of different people created their blood off of him. So it's, it's funny how the, the door and the revolving door. This dog is unique because it doesn't have any bossy blood. That's why it has that thick, chunky head. This is a female, y'all. She doesn't have any bossy blood in her. You know, that's why she has a thick, 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 chunky head. And, you know, what I'm going to do is more than likely I may run some bossy. I may run my uh, fair kennel dog to this man-made kennel dog. And I may run... Uh, Bishop to this dog, which is my terroristic threat. He's a terroristic threat grandson. And his dad is basically Domi, which is basically an identical match for terroristic threat. The only difference between Domi, which is, you know, Bishop, the other dog, is that he's more bulkier than terroristic threat. Terroristic threat's more cut, he's more bulky. But, like I said, this dog is a state line bulls, man-made kennel, uh, production. For all kinds of purposes, it comes off a dog. Uh, grandfather is Lugati. So this is Lugati blood. You know, I think this dog is going to be much, much more cleaner than he is. Much more refined. Um, because we bred her to another dog. I, I, I don't know. It might be a dog from State Line Bulls. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure where it's from, but it's some other blood some big bad dogs and when i find out the names of those dogs i'll get back to you gotcha. all right so now we'll get the shot a side shot of this dog mm. this is her first time stacking or being on the table and she's she, she's putting up a fight
I mean, it's the best we can get out of her for today. I haven't worked with this dog yet. She just got here yesterday, so she's only been here for one day. But for all intents and purposes, see that chunk head and the face. This is a legendary Lugati dog from Montgomery County, Maryland. But in all actuality, this is BGK blood. Big Gemini Kenham. The original XL bully breeder. The guy that made American bullies what they are. A lot of you guys, like I always say in my videos, don't know nothing about no bloodline. You know, I call you guys basically young cats. Y'all don't know where this dog came from. Y'all don't know nothing. You know, and basically, with that being said, when you don't know anything, you can't do anything positive with your program because you cannot take these dogs and just breed them to anything. Oh, this dog look good, I'm gonna breed them. Oh, that dog look good, I'm gonna breed them. Oh, they got the same size. No, you need to know what bloodlines you have in order to make sure that your dogs come out healthy because like, you know, when you have the original recipe, you know, for a cheesesteak, for instance, you got the original recipe for a cheesesteak or a pizza. You can't be adding cheddar cheese. You can't be adding a, a, a ricotta. You gotta add the cheese that it comes with, mozzarella. That's what it's made with. That's what you gotta use. So, to, like, same thing with a dog. This is a this is BGK blood. And what the funny thing, what you guys don't know, of course, is BGK and Big Baller Kennel and Bully Blue Giant and Didi Canine all use Iron Throne, which was this racist white guy, I believe. I'm not sure if he was racist or not, but BGK guy, Big Gemini Kennel guy said he was, allegedly, as he would say. But um, all those guys use Iron Cross blood to make their kennels. But, so in actuality, this is an Iron Cross dog, but we're not gonna even go there. So with that being said, I can use Bully Blue Giant on this dog because it all goes back to Iron Cross here and there. I can use DD Canine blood because it all goes back to Iron Cross blood. And also something very, very deep, 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 deep secret. So BGK's blood goes back to Alice. Alice has the biggest bullies there are. Alice, I believe, is the Chevy dog or Wobber dog or whatever. You can look this up on DDK9. has a video on that. But this dog goes back to Alice bloodline. So DDK9 used Alice bloodline. And dun da da So did DDK9. So DDK9 has Alice and Iron Throne blood. And so does BGK. The two biggest, baddest dog breeders of all time. And they also both were the pioneers who made the American Bully famous. They're the ones that got this dog known all over the world. The Hawk is the dog that is known all over the world. That's DDK9 and then uh, BGK, I forget the dog's name. But it's a video, it has this big old dog. I forget this name. I think it's BGK The Rock was the first famous dog. And then you had Didi Canine's dog. Both of these guys are millionaires off of dogs. And they sell assorted products and they have their own little channels on YouTube. They're millionaires off of dogs, XL dogs. So we want to let you know that over here at Cobb Kennel, we got legendary dogs. We don't got no Rudy Pooties. You know, we don't have no. This this dog, this, this blood, we got DDK9, BGK, the Pioneers, and then we got Bullet Blue Giants, Big Ball of Kennels, the guys under that. And then the only new blood we have would be Fair Kennel blood. And Fair Kennels used a lot of bossy blood, but not just bossy blood. He used Vibes Cartel, so he uses the thing where he has his own blood and then he breeds with champions. So this guy is like, I'm gonna just be honest, like he's breeding the biggest, baddest champion dogs in Maryland. No one else that I know of has champions like Fair Kennels. Um, it's the truth. Uh, a lot of people's dogs now look like Greyhounds, 
Um, they look like deers, giraffes. Um, it's a lot of weird stuff going on out there in the bully world. So we're going to keep it bully. We got BGK blood, DG, DDK9 blood. So some of our dogs do have a little bit of a snout on them, but that's only because we work our dogs as well. So some of our dogs, we got to keep them working. And then some of the breedings we're going to do are just, we're going to give you what you want. You want to pay for a $3,500 grizzly bear? We going to breed you some grizzly bears. You want a nice, strong, working dog that's muscular and bully? We're going to breed you one of those too. We're going to give you uh, uh, the best of both worlds. But our dogs will in no way be watered down. Um, like I said, we got the top bloods out here. And like I said before, that other dog, Fair Kennel, was a champion, a son of a champion. And this is the daughter of a legend. And that brings me to this last point. I got this dog from a guy from Blue Sky Kennel, Face, or Honcho. Um, you know, he's the next guy up to be breeding the biggest and baddest dogs out here. Um, it, I mean, I'm on the list too, but I'm not more so concerned about breeding dogs like that. I'm going to go another route where I'm just going to focus on products and give it information because in order to compete in this game, I mean, it's going to get hard for a lot of people because as, as you, as you've heard me just state, I mean, we got all the top bloods. So at this point, if I take the champion, the, the number one champion dog breeder, I'm not going to say the East coast, but let's just say the number one champion dog breeder from D MV, that means DC, Maryland, and, Bear, and Virginia, which is Fair Kennels. I mean, I, I don't keep track of all these dogs, but I know he's the number one. And then I got the number one street legend blood right here, Lugati. So I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. We got a lot of Lugati type of bloods. It's another dog named Pooh Shiesty. He's about to be out here doing some damage. And you know, I got my DDK9 bloodline dogs. So, you know, I got the best Merle color pattern going. But like I said, um, we got three new heavy hitters over here at Coar Kennel. Two street legends, one legend in the ring. When you take that ring blood and you mix it with the old school street blood, it's just, it's gonna knock everything out the park. We're gonna be creating a new style of bully, which is more of a bully. <laughs> Instead of a, a, a deer or antler or whatever the hell people are breeding, we got something coming. So stay tuned. This is Glorilla, y'all. BGK Blood. We out.